such folly to think that anything escapes my knowing, as when you were with me, all at once, all that I allowed you to know, you knew. No words were spoken, nor were they shouted. I whispered them into your spirit. I discreetly filled you with knowing. Knowing flowed into you as effortlessly as taking a breath. Is it not so? No truer words have ever been spoken or written. The great I am is in your core. The great I am is the light. Even when I am hidden, still I am. Is my energy charged, sending me over each synapse in your brain? Even those small fibers knew that I am. They rose and they fell to the rhythm I created, to the symphony I conducted, I composed. I consider it a tragic comedy of arrogance when man denies what the smallest innervation knows. Man thinks he acts and moves outside my knowledge. How could it be so? I say I proclaim he does not. His own fibers clutch themselves laughing at the idea. I am the flower, the wind, the rain, the sinew, the marrow, the rock, the author, the maker, the touch that set in motion all that you see, all that you know, and all that you do not see or know. I knit you. I put breath in you. I'm coated in every cell. Every nanosecond of time falls in step as I will it so. I am in you. I am all. Even when you perceive nothing, still I am there. As I tell you this here and now, pressing my truth into your breast, your very heart presses it further in.